Being an actor can be a very lucrative line of work. The stars of long-running mega-hit TV shows can bring home $1 million an episode. Even better, actors get residual paychecks whenever their movie or TV show gets aired or re-aired on TV, gets sold to a streaming service like Netflix, is re-released to movie theaters, or even shown on an airplane. That means they get paid again even though they didn't do anything. Production companies use a complicated formula to determine how much actors get paid, and some get more than others. Here are some television actors who earn a very substantial living just off the reruns of their old work. Cast of Friends Friends don't always last forever, but the show Friends just might. The NBC sitcom ranks as one of the most beloved and rerun television comedies of all time. According to The New York Times, by the end of the show, collective cast bargaining had boosted the salaries for all six friends to a very friendly $1 million per episode each. The show's reruns went into syndication in 1998, and in 2015, the entire series went to Netflix, which has only served to feed the public's insatiable need to watch Ross and Rachel break up and make up. Basically, Friends is always on, and that translates into big residuals for the main cast. According to USA Today, Friends generates $1 billion per year for production company Warner Brothers. Of that, Matt LeBlanc, Matthew Perry, Lisa Kudrow, Courtney Cox, Jennifer Aniston, and David Schwimmer are contractually entitled to 2%, which works out to about $20 million for each and every one of them. Pivot! Pivot! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Ricky Gervais Even with his many successful hit shows, comedian and actor Ricky Gervais will forever be known for the series that made him famous and launched a comedy revolution. The BBC comedy The Office was produced in a mockumentary style that would be widely imitated, and Gervais starred as the self-deluded boss for two seasons. And I went travelling, um, exploring… Exploring yourself. And Asia. But he really made a fortune when the show was internationally syndicated and remade for other countries, notably the American version of The Office starring Steve Carell. The enduring popularity of his franchised Office has made Gervais very wealthy. According to Celebrity Net Worth, he's valued at about $90 million. Ray Romano Stand-up comedian and family sitcom star Ray Romano has proven himself to be a very talented dramatic actor, but his best-known work is the Emmy-winning and extraordinarily successful CBS comedy Everybody Loves Raymond. Everybody indeed loves Raymond, and they still do. Reruns of the show play on local stations and all over cable TV, which means huge residual checks for Romano, the star and co-creator of the series. According to Forbes, he recently placed third on a list of the highest-paid TV actors, even though he didn't currently have a show on the air. His 18 $15 million haul came almost entirely from Raymond residuals. Jerry Seinfeld in part because he's co-creator as well as the star of the show. Jerry Seinfeld earns a ton of money when an episode of Seinfeld airs on a local station or on Hulu, and those episodes air a lot. It's still a major force in syndicated television, even though it's been off the air for 20 years. According to Forbes, Jerry Seinfeld earned $900 million over the past decade, primarily from old Seinfeld episodes. That works out to an incredible $90 million a year. Congratulations! I, 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 how do you feel? How, what is that like? Seinfeld doesn't need to work unless he wants to, which is probably why he hasn't done too many major live-action projects since his sitcom ended. But people just love him so much that when his web series, Comedians and Cars Getting Coffee, jumped from Crackle to Netflix, Seinfeld pocketed about $100 million, according to The Hollywood Reporter. Robert Pine the definition of working actor, you've most certainly seen Robert Pine's work if you've ever watched television. Pine has appeared in hundreds of films and TV episodes since the mid-1960s. If he's best known for anything, it's for his longest-running TV role as Sergeant Joe on the classic cop show Chips. In 1998, Pine told the Los Angeles Daily News that his residual checks alone were enough to finance both his son and daughter's college educations. That son, by the way, is Hollywood A-lister Chris Pine. Thanks, Dad. Thanks for watching. Click the Nikki Swift icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love, too!